Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up everybody? E Rivera 94 bringing you another action figure review. Today we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Astonishing Ant-Man 2-Pack. This is the Toys R Us exclusive with Ant-Man and Marvel Stinger. If you guys are having a hard time finding this guy at your local Toys R Us, especially now that they're closing down, you can pick it up at BigBadToyStore.com. There is a link in the description below where you guys can check it out for yourselves. Now, here we have the front of the package where we have Ant-Man and Stinger just displayed as so. Nothing really special. Here we got the Astonishing Ant-Man and then we do have the Toys R Us exclusive sticker on the side. Now, on the side of the package, we have a pretty cool little artwork piece of Stinger, Ant-Man, and then we have a big ant right here. The other side shows the same thing. The back of the box does show pictures of the figures once again and a picture of the Marvel comic that it is inspired from. The read up on the back does say, both powered by Pym particles and able to shrink to the size of an ant, Scott and Cassie Lang have more in common than a family name. Alrighty, that does it guys. Let's get them out of the box and see what we got. And do one at a time here we'll start with the new ant-man here and i really do like this look he is using the new body mold he's using the body mold that deadpool uses from the sasquatch wave and the same body mold that the new silver surfer that i just recently reviewed is using as well so this works well with him and this new head sculpt for this ant-man is very good i like it i really do like the look of that face sculpt in the helmet and overall everything here so it looks like the plastic is red on the torso and then the black is painted but when we go down to the legs it looks like the red is actually painted so they're mixing and matching their paint and plastic. Taking a closer look here at the head sculpt as I said I do like the head sculpt a lot. Now unfortunately mine is very very loose right out of the package uh, and I really dislike that a lot. I mean that is I mean the point of kind of no return there even if you try to fix it. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Hopefully I can find another one and um, it'll be better. As for Ammon, he doesn't come with any accessories at all. It's just him. So we're just going to go ahead and go straight to the articulation. we got the head going left and right. It does go up and down. It's on a barge into the hinge. It seems like even though it's not hinged, this piece right here is actually uh, not attached to his jaw. So it's a separate piece, but it's still attached to the helmet. Uh, but that's pretty interesting that it does that. You can move it up and down even though it's not meant to. Since it is a soft plastic, the arms do go forward and back. They go in and out. We have the butterfly joints there. We got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. Torso has an ab crunch, a waist swivel. Legs go forward and back on a T-joint, in and out. Thigh swivels, double jointed knees here. Ankles are on a hinge forward and back and a pivot. There is no swivel. We do have a shin swivel as well. Going on to Cassie or Stinger, we have her... Uh, pretty standard female body as we are all used to. Really nothing special here. No accessories unless you count her wings, which we've seen before. These uh, wings have been on Beetle. All you do is attach to the peg holes on her back and you will be all set. Once attached, there you go. They can articulate up and down as so and they do hinge. So her head does go left and right. It goes up and down. It's on a barge and hinge. The arms go forward and back. They go in and out. No bicep swivel. We have a single jointed elbow that swivels right there as well. Wrist swivels with a hinge. Diaphragm joint swivels. Forward and back, not so much. There is no waist articulation. The legs go forward and back. They go in and out. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Shin swivel, which is pretty good. Hinged ankles and pivot. Alright guys, and here we have a size comparison next to two random Marvel Legends. We got the Bucky Cat mold for Deadpool. And then we have a shorter figure here for Logan or Wolverine. And you can see how they stack up next to each other. Alright, and there you have it guys. Not much more to say here. What you see is what you get. Two figures, no alternate faces or hands or anything like that. I'm actually a big fan of this two-pack. I think these two figures came out pretty decent, although the female body mold needs to get updated, as I say in every one of my reviews of a female figure. But I do think they executed the Ant-Man Scott Lang right here very well, and I really do like this design and look and how they portrayed it in their ghost stinger and how they portrayed it into action figure form here. Just hope you guys get a good one with tight joints and not the issues that mine has. 
It would have been nice to have a shrunk version of both these as an accessory, uh, maybe some hands or heads, something like that. A little bit extra to get uh, into this two pack would have been cool. I know they can do it because they packed in that Hydra two pack with uh, tons of accessories and weapons, so I don't see the issue in adding some more here. I just hope everyone else has the chance to pick these up. Hopefully you're true guess them. If not, we do always have the option of going to Big Bad Toy Store. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, guys, have a great day.